Okay, I've just spent about 10, 15 minutes messing with my downloads here. It, it happens quite a bit. Anyway, all right, so I've already worked this problem out and, and I got the answer, but now now we're back to the simple pendulum uh, problems. Um, and I want us to make sure that we understand certain things. I don't want that, I want this. Um, so in other words, that omega is equal to the square root of L over G. All right, for a simple pendulum. All right, now then, if I change the mass on this thing, if I change the mass on the simple, now remember, a simple pendulum is just a string with a bob on the end of it. All right, and we make sure that we keep this angle small, like under 10 degrees. There you go. Now, certain things I want you to remember omega is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. In other words, this is 2 pi. How many times is it going around the circle? How fast is the angle changing? That's what that's saying. And I want you to remember that um, the frequency is equal to 1 over ta, or the, the period, 1 over the period. So in this problem, now let's look and see what it says. A simple pendulum of a certain length is attached in, in a small angle. After the ball is released, how much time elapses before it attains its greatest speed? It, it's, it's one of those, unless you're used to physics, it's one of those questions that's just so out there. You're like, what are you talking about? How do I get from A to B on this? Ah, that's my job, is to steer you in the right direction. So, and analyze what's actually going on with the pendulum. So if we've got it out here, and then we, and we know it's going to swing down through here and swing back. That's one. Okay, so it comes down and back. That's one period. Okay, so if we, and we know right here because of, here you go again, here's its height h, and we know, um, uh, but we also have, would, also have to calculate the rotational speed it's going through because this has, um, uh, well, we can, if we eliminated friction in, in, the, in, the, in the string and all that kind of stuff, then we know that mgh is equal to one half mv squared as it's going through. The, so the max speed, v max, is when it's at the bottom of the hill here. Okay, so let's do it again. Here we go. We attach the pendulum here. We go, oh, there's one period. So when it gets, so this would be a half a T. So when it gets down to the bottom, if, if this is like zero, and then this gets to a half, and then it comes back, and we're at one T, what is this one? Oh, you probably couldn't see what I was doing. So if it's at zero, this is half the period, then it comes back. What's this when it first comes down? This is half. This looks like it's halfway between, a, what's a half of a half? So just do the math. One half of a half, one fourth T. All right? So the way you do this problem, so the way you set this thing up is this was the key to it. Now, you take these equations. You take these equations, they give you L, you know what G is, to figure out what T is, and then you're on your way. And what problem was that? 43. I'll put that in here.